Marvel Studios has yet another hit on its hands. What the hell is its secret power? I'm Matthew Schnipper, and this is 90 Seconds on the Verge. Captain America The Winter Soldier has set a new record for April releases, grossing over $95 million in its first weekend. It'd be a major success for any film studio, but it's especially poignant for Marvel. After years of letting other studios adapt its characters for the silver screen, the comic book giant released Iron Man in 2008, its first movie produced entirely in-house. It also marks the beginning of what is now known as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, with each movie living within the same fictional world and characters making cameos everywhere. The studio has released nine films in just six years, but it wasn't until 2012's The Avengers that Marvel showed it could really set records. So Marvel's proven it can shepherd these cross-pollinated films, but how far into the future are they looking? In a recent Bloomberg Businessweek cover story, Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige teased that they had mapped out ideas as far as 2028, which is kind of insane and probably more speculative than anything. But Marvel isn't the only one recognizing the box office power of a superhero dynasty. Fox is currently revitalizing the X-Men franchise. As for Sony, it has five Spider-Man films in the works. Then there's Warner Brothers, with the Zack Snyder helm Batman vs Superman is expected to introduce a cavalcade of DC characters and will debut May 6, 2016, which is the exact same day that Captain America 3 is scheduled to premiere. For more on Marvel's cinematic universe, check out The Verge. Coming up, we take a look at some of Marvel's lesser known superheroes, like Sadman, who lives in the basement of his parents' suburban home, spends all of his time listening to the Smiths.